Social media preservation is becoming increasingly important and necessary to ensure the communications of institutions and their representatives, such as elected officials or business leaders, are preserved to support records requests and for historical context. We are focused on freeing up your time by automating the capture and preservation of social media and web content in a way that is seamless and ensures assets are always discoverable, readable, usable and trustworthy. In addition, with Preservica, you can collate and present all related assets to your target communities so that they have additional information that provides more context. Let's take a look at a short demo showing how we preserve and enable access to social media sites and find related assets. I want to preserve tweets from this account, which is of the former mayor of Boston. I've actually got a specific tweet in mind, but you can see here that they're made up of videos, images uh, and text. If we go to the tweet here, we actually have three images uh, and we'll also see a link. And by automating the capture of this Twitter handle, you can focus on curating it and making it accessible to internal stakeholders or to the wider public. And as I navigate to the right folder, and it's worth noting folder structures are customizable, you can see that a number of tweets, when we get there, have been captured already, which can happen automatically and at predefined intervals. I'm going to perform a quick keyword search using a phrase that appeared in the body of the tweet itself. There we go. If I hit search, and here are the results. If, I, if we open this one, uh, then we're now able to see all the metadata related to this, including fixed T, timestamp information and unique data from Twitter. So we've got the Twitter ID, the text, uh, when it was created, who by retweets and likes. I've also opted for Dublin Core uh, metadata schema, which is one of uh, the out of box metadata schemas available inside Preservica. And if I click view, the entire tweet is rendered in a nice, easy to read format with all components we saw in Twitter. So the images and the links in particular. So there we go. And there's one of the images. So we've got all of that information uh, as part of the automated capture of this tweet. Uh, it's also um, worth noting that development in this area will also enable you to scroll through related tweets uh, so you can track conversations for more context. And there's the link. So the asset that we see on screen um, is comprised of multiple individual assets, uh, although it's rendered as one. So they're collated together automatically, but still independent enough that each component can always be migrated to the latest file formats and its authentic authenticity verified. So here we have the tweet text. Well, here we have the images that relate to it. And they're actually individual assets um, all collated together. OK, so if we actually want to see how we can make this available to the public, if I go to my uh, online portal, which comes as part of Preservica, is out of the box, and I haven't um, configured this, so this is quite a simple configuration, and we'll look at some customers in a minute. They're my collections, and I want to look for a particular set of items. So if I just do a quick, easy keyword search, and here I have the items related to COVID. That's my folder, and I've got three assets. If I click on my tweet, which is this, you can see it now rendering in this public portal. So there's the metadata made available. Um, and if I was a member of the public looking at this, this is the image that I would see. Uh, and I can actually then go in on the individual components of it. If I look at this one, this is a capture of the website that we were looking at a short while ago. So we've actually got the tweet. We've then gone and captured the website and we're able to render that and, and preserve that inside Preservica. Finally, we have a PDF document of council meeting minutes, which is related to this topic that we're interested in and was captured and ingested automatically into Preservica via our SharePoint connector. So there we have it, three separate assets related to this single search term, including the tweet, which is made up of multiple files, a website and a PDF. We are capturing uh, the complex digital content automatically so that enables you to easily find it and view it independently of the original application and it also finds all the other related assets in one place for context uh, to historical or or records requests.